हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दीप एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दीप टेक ट्रेनर इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल पीआर डी कोर सर्वर नाम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर आई हैव ओपन द वेलकम लॉगिन पेज ऑफ द पीआर एंड आई एम गेटिंग द डिफॉल्ट लॉग नेम एंड द पासवर्ड सो फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न हाउ टू चेंज द डिफॉल्ट यूजर नेम एंड द पासवर्ड सो लेट मी लॉग टू पी आर विद द डिफॉल्ट क्रेडेंशियल्स Here we have logged in and let's go to the system administrator. Then we have to go to user accounts. The default user is a PRTG administrator and the default group as well the same PRTG administrator. So my default username is a part of a PRTG administrator groups. So I will have uh, all the users permissions. to change the default username and the password we have to go to the object i will replace the desired name here it admin you can change the default uh, email address as well from here then i will set specify a new password because i would like to replace the new one i will enter the older password set the new password I think I'm making some mistake here to replace the password. Now it's getting match. See. So this is how you can change the default username and the password. The same way we can create the new user as well. So to add the new user we have to click on a plus symbol from your right hand side. Go to the add user. I will the add username here rahul i can put any display name here email id password that can be set by the administrator and you can give a right to change to user as well so i am setting the password here for the new user you can give the user permission from here whether you would like to give full access to the new user new rahul user or you can set the read only access to the new account as well so if you set the read write user so the rahul user will get the full permission to access the prtg and if i set here full uh, read only access so rahul user only get the view permission so he cannot change anything from a prtg so i will give full access so far to him and let's create so as we can see over here new user have been created as a rahul name so let's lo log out from the current user and let's check whether we are able to log in by using a new users or not So let's try to log in with newly created user Rahul. Password that I set for him. Click on login. As you can see, we are able to log in with the newly created user. Now we will try to add few of the devices. So I'm going to devices section. So when you install the PRTG defaults group will be created automatically by the PRTG itself as you can see over here network infrastructure windows client server virtual machines etc groups have been created already but if you would like to create your own groups that can be created so i'm going to create the new user i have right click on a network infrastructure click on add group I will create a new group here. 
security devices where i can add my security devices like my firewall antivirus server my dlp servers and so forth here our group is ready i'm getting a option to add the devices let's add one device here so i will add my first security device here that is firewall protect firewall its ip address i will add the symbol as well is completely optional and click on okay my first security device have been added here so we have to add the sensor to monitor the target objects so i will search for the ping so i would like to check the availability first for the target device and ping is specially designed to monitor the reachability and even we will come to know whether the device is live or not so nothing more should do into the settings let's click on create is trying to gather the information it will take more couple of seconds till that we will add the another device i will right click on a security devices add a device i will add my antivirus server its ip address as it's a windows server i will select the windows symbol click on okay the another security server have been added i will click on add sensor to add the ping sensor because i would like to know the availability first whether this device is reachable to prtg or not let's click on plus symbol to add the sensor and create again it is trying to gather the information and will take a couple of seconds more let's go back to the devices okay that's great so both ping sensor have become up now it means both the devices are reachable to the prtg now i would like to monitor the physical ports of my fortigate firewall as well to monitor the bandwidth utilization so before proceeding i would like to enable the snmp settings for the prtg i will go to the device and go to the settings go to the snmp credentials snmp version 2 is selected by default and recommended make sure to mention the proper details from your target device commit string and the snmp port click on save i will go to the add sensor from here directly i will try to find the snmp traffic which will monitor the physical ports of the firewall click on plus symbol here i'm getting the option to select the physical ports which are important or critical to get it monitor and we'll click on create is trying to gather the information from the physical ports let's wait for more couple of seconds so as you can see over here after adding the snmp traffic sensor it started to monitor my physical ports of the firewall if i would like to check the traffic so i can go to the specific physical port i will go here is able to showcase me in out and total traffic of my devices as it's a dummy device so i'm not getting any more traffic flowing through that port so this is how you can add the devices and the sensors to a specific target device as you can see that the firewall and the ibm server are showing 
and the PRT just started to gather the information. Hope this video was helpful for you. In my next video, we will learn about the different color states of the PRT and how they are going to help you for your easy monitoring. Till that, please take care and thanks for watching my video. Bye, take care.